Today we're making potato cheese bread. So it's cheese bread with potatoes. How can we go wrong? All three of those things sound delicious. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with three quarters cup of flour, a quarter cup of milk, half a tablespoon of melted butter, and a pinch of salt. Then we're gonna knead this all together into a ball. So you wanna mix it until you get a ball that's almost like Play-Doh. So it should have like um, a solid consistency across. If you see that it's breaking apart, like you have all these little bits everywhere, you might wanna add a little bit of water uh, just to get it uh, like this, but you don't wanna add too much. So try to add a little bit of water, keep uh, kneading it until you get a ball. If it's still breaking apart, add a little bit more water. Uh, it's always easier to add a little bit as you go rather than a lot because you can't take it out afterwards. So now that we have it as a ball like so, uh, we're gonna take some cellophane and we're just gonna wrap up our ball and we're gonna put this in the fridge until our potato is ready to go. So now we're gonna take one potato and we're gonna peel it. Once your potato's peeled, you're gonna put uh, boiling water in a pot, you're gonna put your potato in it, and you're gonna let it soften. Uh, once you get a fork and like pierce through your potato, uh, you know you're good to move on to the next step, which we'll be back once this potato is nice and soft. So I boiled the potato for about 25 minutes. You can see the knife test, you can see how uh, easy it goes in. Uh, so now we're ready to mash our potato. So, once your potatoes are all mashed up, you're gonna add a tablespoon of fresh garlic, a pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of herbs, and you can add any herbs you like, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And I think I have a little bit too much. There we go. And now we're gonna mix it all together. So we're basically just seasoning our mashed potatoes. So once it's all mixed, you're gonna set it aside. And we have our dough. And we're gonna take a rolling pin and flatten out our dough. So I never added any flour, it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. Uh, we're just gonna flatten out the dough into a um, circle as if we're making a pizza basically is what we're doing. And we're gonna be doing this a couple of times, you'll see. Not now, but later. Let's take it, lift it up, and flip it over. It looks pretty good. So as you can see here, my dough is ready to go. So you can see the dough is not perfectly round. And uh, something else to note for this recipe, you wanna add, uh, you wanna be generous with the amount of cheese you add and you wanna add only one potato. Don't go crazy with potato. Otherwise you're gonna get a, the blend of potato and cheese will be off. So we're gonna to try to keep it all in the middle cause we're gonna be folding this over afterwards. So there is our cheese. Let's add a little bit more cause you can't go wrong. And now we're gonna take our mashed potato blend. We're gonna flatten this out on top. We're gonna smooth it out. So you wanna add your uh, mashed potatoes. You might not even use all the potato mixture that you made. So if you use one potato, you can actually probably get two of these. Uh, and then we're gonna add another healthy portion of cheese. Um, <laughs> key emphasis on healthy. <laughs> and we're gonna end up with Something that looks like this. So, um, 
our flour uh, bread with cheese, mashed potatoes, cheese. Now the fun part. Let's fold it up. So we're gonna start with one edge and we're gonna just kind of like pinch. We're just gonna kind of go around and repeat the process over and over until we get it like a ball. And there we go. So you wanna make sure it's really pinched. You wanna make sure that it is uh, as seamless as possible. We wanna keep all our ingredients on the inside. And now we're ready to flip it over. So you're gonna end up with a uh, bread ball that looks like this. And you know how I said before, we're gonna use the rolling pin again? Well, this is where we're using it. So you wanna do this gently. And we wanna make this uh, more flat, more round, more flat. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Um, it won't happen, but uh, we're flattening it out. This will help it cook quicker, uh, cook better, and just look better all around. And <laughs> you might be able to see it, there's little bubbles. We've got air bubbles in there. <laughs> so this is what you're gonna end up with. It is a big flat ball of cheese and potatoes. Let's head over to the stove to finish this up. So you put butter in a pan, we're just gonna melt it and uh, wait till the butter is melted. All right, so once your butter is melted, we're gonna place this in and uh, we're gonna let it brown on both sides. Uh, I have it on medium heat right now. I may turn it up, may turn it down. We'll see as we go. So you can see the top is starting to brown. Uh, I flipped it over a couple of times now. Uh, back and forth. I did raise the fire or the heat up to high uh, just so it cooks a little bit quicker. Every ingredient on the inside is cooked. So our potato is cooked and obviously our cheese just has to melt a little bit, uh, but it is looking really good. So I'm going to leave it here for a couple more minutes and I think we're ready to go. So this is our potato cheese bread. So we got our bread on the outside. It's loaded up with mozzarella cheese and potatoes, mashed potatoes that are seasoned very well. Uh, we have to taste it. That is my favorite part of these videos. Uh, let's give it a go. So uh, cheese bread should be cheese heavy. So that's the first thing I noticed. You got a lot of, um, you got a lot of cheese, like it's very cheesy, which is good. It tastes great. Uh, the mozzarella uh, is up to you. If you want to change it to a different type of cheese, you can. Um, the mashed potatoes. So the seasoning of the mashed potatoes is great. I highly recommend that you season the mashed potatoes with spices that you like. Um, so I added salt, pepper, and garlic with a bunch of different herbs. Uh, tasted, tastes fantastic. The bread itself has a nice crunch as it holds everything in. Um, so you can actually probably hear it. So this tastes basically like having a, uh, imagine having like a big loaf of garlic bread with uh, mashed potatoes, uh, a part of it. Uh, tastes fantastic. You can change this recipe around, change the cheese, change your ingredients, make it your own. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more food content. Uh, leave a like on the video and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next on this channel. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.